Hey everybody, today we're gonna to provide you with a walkthrough how to change your gear lube in Mercury 40 to 60 horsepower four stroke outboards. My outboard happens to be the Command Thrust gear case, which really means it just takes a little bit more lubrication. As you can see, we have the engine trimmed down to the vertical operating position. And we're doing that so we can get all the lubrication down to the bottom of the lower unit to drain it out. So when I trim the engine down to the vertical operating position, I slid an oil pan underneath the skag because that gear lube is gonna run out of the filled drain plug. But the first thing we're gonna wanna do is remove the vent plugs, which are located right here. And we're gonna do that by using an oversized standard screwdriver. We got our vent plugs removed now. We're gonna move on to the fill and drain plug, which is located on the lower part of the skag here. You'll notice as I crack this open, that fluid is gonna drain down the skag into the pan. So as the gear lube comes out, we wanna inspect it for any water in it. And usually the water will come out first, but if it is mixed in, um, that's something I wanna take note of. But in this case, I got good, clean, clear lube, but we're just doing it as part of our 100 hour service or our annual change. So while the fluid is draining out of the gear case, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at our filled drain plug. And you'll notice that there's some very light metal shavings on there, some small filings. And that's actually a sign of standard use, it's okay. But if you do see some larger pieces and particles of metal on there, that's a sign that something is probably wrong and you should bring your engine into an authorized dealer. So both the vent plugs and the drain fill plug come with seals on them. And go ahead and take the time to inspect those as well as you want them to be intact. So about all our fluid is drained out of the gear case, and we're gonna take this convenient little kit here, which is our gear lube and pump. Open that up. So we'll open it up, and uh, here's our gear lube. Standard gear cases take 24 ounces, where my command thrust gear case takes 28 ounces, and as you can see in the container, we have 32 full ounces. So that's 32 fluid ounces, which is the adequate amount to fill both the standard and command thrust gear cases. We also have our pump, and I'll show you how this works when we go to put the fluid into the gear case. So what we're gonna do now is remove the little nipple from the hose on the pump. As you can see, there's a threaded end on that. Those threads actually screw into where the fill drain plug went in. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. At this point, now that we've got that attached to the drain fill plug hole, we're gonna go ahead and slide the hose back on from the pump. Now, we actually just start pumping in the fluid. You can see the fluid getting into the hose, now going up in. What we're looking for while we're doing this, we wanna see if fluid is coming out of this front vent hole here. So I'm keeping an eye on that as I pump, and when I actually start to see fluid come out of that, that's when I'm gonna plug it up. Okay, so now we've got some fluid coming out of the front vent hole and we're gonna go ahead and plug it up with a vent plug. And then once we get that seated down, we'll start pumping again and watch for fluid to come out of the rear vent plug hole. And there it is. And we've got fluid coming out of the rear vent hole and we're going to seal that one up too. Okay, now we have both of our vent plugs back in. We're going to remove the little nipple here and put our fill drain plug back in. I'm going to try to do this kind of quickly so we don't lose too much fluid from the bottom. Of course, those vent plugs kind of keep it sucked in there. And with that, we've got fresh new gear case lube in our lower unit. This is something that you're gonna to wanna to do after every 100 hours of use or annually. If you have any additional questions, make sure to reference your maintenance manual.